In this video, we will simplify IDS and IPS as per Isaka's requirement. IDS can be used for full network or single computer. So, network based IDS monitors activities on identified network. Host based IDS that monitor activities on a particular single system or host. Network IDS check for attacks by inspecting the contents and header information of all the packets moving across the network. Host-based IDS detect activity on host computer such as deletion of files or modification of any critical programs. Now, network-based IDS can be placed between internet and firewall or firewall and internal network. So what is the difference between two? If it is placed between internet and firewall, IDS will able to monitor and record all the intrusion activity. But if it is placed between firewall and internal network, any activity that has been blocked or prevented by firewall will not be able to go through IDS and hence such attacks will not be recorded and monitored. What are the components of IDS? Sensor, Analyzer, User Interface and Admin Console. So what sensor does? It collects the data. Data can be in form of network packets or log files and other related items. So it will transfer all the data to Analyzer to further analyze the data and determine the intrusive activity. We do have further two support function, user interface, enable user to view results and take necessary action and admin console to manage the IDS rules and functions. We have three type of IDS on the basis of how it functions. So signature based IDS. Intrusion is identified on the basis of non type of attack. Such known patterns are stored in the form of signature. This is also known as rule based IDS. However, new type of attack cannot be detected. Statistical based IDS. Normal activity or behavior of the system is noted and any activity which falls outside the scope of normal behavior is flagged as intrusion. They generate the most false positive, that is the false alarm as compared to other IDS system. For example, if normal login timing is between 8 am to 10 am and on a particular day if login is done at 11 am, it will raise the alarm even if login is done by authorized staff. Neural networks. They are similar to statistical network, statistical IDS, but with added self learning functionality. They monitor general pattern of activities and create its own database. Out of all three IDS, that is signature, statistic, and neural, neural network is more effective in detecting fraud. So this is the difference between IDS and IPS. In IDS activities are monitored and recorded wherein in IPS intrusion activities are prevented also. Now let us recap what we learned till now. So intrusion is identified on the basis of non pattern. Signature based IDS. Best to identify fraud. Neural network. 
मॉनिटर सिंगल कंप्यूटर हॉस्ट बेस्ड आईडीएस मॉनिटर्स आइडेंटिफाइड नेटवर्क नेटवर्क बेस्ड आईडीएस आल्सो प्रिवेंट्स द इंट्रूशन एस अगेंस्ट ओनली रिकॉर्डिंग एंड मॉनिटरिंग आईपीएस creates on database neural network high false alarm statistical based ids challenges of ids ids will not able to detect application level vulnerabilities backdoors into the application ids will not able to detect encrypted traffic challenges of ips threshold limits that are too high or too low also ips may itself become a threat when attacker sends commands to the large number of hosts protected by that particular ips to make them dysfunctional let us discuss some cisa related question An organization has installed an IDS which monitors general patterns of activity and creates the database. Which of the following intrusion detection system has is this feature? Neural network. The component of an IDS that collects the data is sensor analyze the data and determine the intrusive activity enable user to view results and take necessary action to manage ids rules and functions even for normal activity which of the following intrusion detection system will mo be most likely to generate false alarm In any given scenario out of all 3 IDS statistical based IDS generates most false positive Statistical based IDS determine the normal behavior of the system any activity which falls outside the scope of normal behavior is flagged as intrusion So this example we already discussed anything outside the normal scope will be considered as intrusion activity an is auditor is reviewing installation of intrusion detection system which of the following is greatest concern system not able to identify the alarming attacks an organization wants to detect attack attempts that the firewall is unable to recognize it should be placed between so this is how where it should be placed so if it is even not blocked by the firewall ids will able to monitor a record search attack between firewall and internal network which of the following is a function of ids obtain evidence on intrusive activity others are the features of a firewall which of the following is the most routine problem in implementation of ids instances of false positives option a and b it's for biometrics attempts of the intrusion attacks and penetration threat to a network can be detected by which of the following by analyzing the behavior of the system 
option B. Router, stateful inspection and packet filter are the type of firewall. To detect intrusion, best control would be actively monitor unsuccessful login attempts. An IS auditor reviewing the implementation of IDS should be most concerned if Please note, these are the limitation of IDS. IDS will not able to detect application level vulnerabilities, backdoors into application and IDS will not able to detect the encrypted traffic. So, if IDS is used to detect encrypted traffic, that will be major concern. Out of three IDS, neural network is more effective in detecting fraud because They are capable of capturing relationships and patterns often missed by other statistical methods. So, general pattern of activities are monitored and a database is created. Option A is for signature based IDS. Option B is for statistical based IDS. Dear all, I intend to keep my videos free, but if you feel this video has something to do with your CISA certification, I don't mind sharing the cost. You can contribute at paypal hemangdoshi19 at, at yahoo.co.in. This will help me to contribute more material for CISA aspirants. Thanks for your love and support.